Hi, this is EuroCAD and today it's Sunday 10th of August 2014. I'm Sofia Stavropoulou and this is a video signal for Forex ID Academy members and FX colleagues Forex Signals apps users before the markets open for the new trading week. I'm using Ichimoku Kinko Hill, Bollinger Bands, Fractals and Stochastics. We see that although the pair is in a strong upward move, uh, we see the bigger picture on H4, daily on daily after a big fall, the pair is strongly uh, going up and we had a W pattern here and we know that after a W pattern, a double bottom pattern, uh, the pair will go up uh, as much as the height between uh, the, the center of the W and one of the two lower points. So it, w it will go higher, which means it will break the Kumo and uh, we expect a serious effort for reversal. We see the leading edge of the Kumo on the daily time frame uh, is about to give a second span A, second span B cross and this is uh, a bullish reversal signal here. Um, Chiku span, the green line is going above past price action but of course it has to go above the Kumo after the bullish Kumo breakout in order to validate the breakout and that will take some time. But uh, the picture is uh, that of a reversal. On the weekly, we will see that we just had a bullish price Tenkan-sen cross after all these confirmations on the lower Bollinger Band, the down fractal, the stochastics going strong, strong up, uh, the, uh, the bullish reversal candlestick patterns, and um, the main biases of course of the pair are bullish but we had this fall for long for many weeks and we'll see the same picture on the weekly on the monthly sorry main biases are bullish and the pair is going to make a, a strong bullish Kumo breakout but the, the leading edge of the Kumo the edge of the leading Kumo is very sharp pointing upwards here. Let me see the edge of the leading Kumo on the weekly. Uh, it, it was curved, uh, it is becoming more uh, horizontal and maybe we will see it going upwards pretty soon. But for now, uh, uh, um, anyway the, the, the biases remain bullish on the weekly. So, the main trend of the pair, uh, the pair looks like it resumes its prior main main trend which is the uptrend but, but it has been falling for almost six months so uh, we should expect a strong upward move but for now we see signs of reversal not so much on the H4 as on the H1 and um, if you want to enter, if you don't want to wait till the reversal is over and enter then long again, let me see on the M30. Hmm. Uh, you have uh, two options. You either wait for the M30 to see a strong bullish price and concern cross. Uh, we have already stochastics confirming that uh, the pair wants to go up, but we don't know if it will make it above the ten consent line. Or you watch it on M30, you watch if it will fall lower, and if it falls lower, you go when the market's open, you go to H1 and position, position yourself short, you sell, and you place your take profit target um, close to the median bullish zero band on H1 uh, but a, a few pips higher so you will not put it at 1.4660 you will put it your take profit target at, at 1.4670 or 75 
okay so you go for 40 40 pips something if the downward move uh, continues and you will see that on the M30 time frame or even smaller M15 on M15 we see a fresh bearish price and can send cross and although the leading Kumo is sharp pointing upwards uh, we have uh, a, a contraction phase in the Bollinger Bands and stochastics agree that it's time for a correction after such a big upward move so the most possible scenario is that the price will fall uh, to the level of the medium bolger band on, on H1 before it continues going higher because it will go higher so end short after you get the confirmation on M30 that the price wants to continue falling you you place your stop loss 100 to 150 pips above your entry you uh, place your take profit target uh, 10 to 15 pips above medium bolger band on h1 time frame and i wish you uh, happy pips <laughs>